In this video series, we're going to look at the different types of variations that exist between variables. We're going to look at direct variation, we're going to look at inverse and joint variation as well. In this video, we're going to focus primarily on just introducing direct variation. Now, direct variation occurs when one variable varies directly to another variable, and so the phrase y varies directly as x. Now, what we're going to use is y equals k times x to the n power. What it means to vary directly, and the phrase is directly, means there's a direct relationship between the two variables. In other words, as one variable increases, so will the other. Or as one variable decreases, so will the other. And so direct relationship means they do the same thing. If one variable is going to increase, so is the other. And one variable is going to decrease, so will the other. And so the example that we're going to work with here, to introduce it, we have as the speed of a car increases, the braking distance increases at a constant rate. And so you can see, just to introduce this idea of direct variation, the speed is increasing. And as the speed of a car increases, it's going to take longer for that car to stop. And so therefore, the braking distance will also increase. And so those have a direct variation. One's increasing, and so is the other. And so we have this. The circumference of a circle varies directly with the diameter of a circle. So the circumference varies directly with the diameter. What does that mean? Well, that means as the circumference of the circle gets bigger, well, that means the diameter is bigger, or vice versa. If you create a circle with a large diameter, it's going to have a large circumference. And so we have here your circumference equals then some constant of variation times your diameter. And the question I'm going to ask is, you know, what is that constant of variation? And we know that based off of our formula for circumference as pi itself. Circumference equals pi times diameter. So our pi in this situation represents our constant. So we have our direct variation. One variable varies directly to the other. As one variable increases, so will the other variable. We'll 